Hey, what's up, everybody? BDO44 coming at you with another video. All right. So, ah, I feel pretty good, man. I gotta get in here because it is cold in this room. It is cold in the front. But I want to talk to everybody about what I just got through having a conversation with my good friend KT about. And that is allowing our reputation to be what we want it to be. <laughs> you know, a lot of times when I was younger, not really sure of what made sense for me in regards to how I wanted to be seen, what came with what in regards to reputation. <laughs> I would often not answer the phone, probably still have these traits in me to a degree, but definitely no better than to keep it up. Not reach out to people, not, you know, call people on their birthdays and stuff like that. And one of the reasons why I did that is because I was protecting myself from the pain of them passing away and me being close, too close to them. <laughs> Trauma that came from just going through bereavement and not handling it very well just made it so that I didn't want to go through it too often, especially with people that I love. So rather than to see it the right way, my mental health and my anxiety <laughs> allowed for me to look at it a different way to say, you know, if I push people away, if I don't call them, if I don't text them or whatever the case may be if I don't communicate maybe I could keep myself from feeling the pain of when they pass away maybe if they don't think I love them maybe they'll just go away and leave me to be alone for which I thought I wanted only to find out that that isn't actually how that goes how that really goes is you end up regretting not being closer to them when they do it hurts even more because they didn't really get to know the real you because you was too busy trying to protect yourself from them when they weren't the weapon against you. Your fear was your inability to think of yourself as strong enough to handle such things was your inability to see the fruit and enjoying them while they were here was most to be feared not necessarily the passing or the event that worse may not even come for all you know you die before they do a lot of times I wouldn't care nothing about my reputation because I couldn't see where I would need people down the road I was so caught up in what I didn't want which was to be around anybody because of the anxieties of various different things that I thought I could see clearly about I had been teased as a child and didn't like that type of energy, so I wanted to keep everybody away, even though it wasn't everybody teasing me. But it was that evil inside of my own mind that was ultimately creating a reputation for myself that was no good. <laughs> creating a reputation that I needed to undo so that I could get the help that I ultimately was going to need from the people that I loved the most. That didn't know me that well because I was keeping them at a distance to protect myself. A vicious cycle that really only ended when I started realizing that it didn't work. That that reputation I was creating for myself only reflected poorly upon my name. People who I wanted to love me didn't love me the way I wanted them to love me because they didn't know me well enough to do so. Sure, I may have protected myself from certain drama, certain falling outs and things of that nature. But I also created those falling outs in certain cases just from the distance and the creation of misunderstanding that could manifest in people's minds from that itself. You know, you would find yourself having to explain yourself in ways that you thought people knew you because you didn't allow them to know you. Maybe they knew who you were back when you were not acting like that, but once you started putting that block up, they don't know who you turned into after that. And really... You were just trying to protect yourself from whatever feelings you was feeling. Protect yourself from whatever pain you thought was coming from being close to them. It didn't work. We deserve to have good reputations, people. And a lot of times we mistreat people and stuff like that. Whether you believe in God or not, I have something to say about that. If you do, I have something to say about it if you don't. But if you believe in God, then you know that he's rooting for everyone he's created. To be treated fairly, to be giving the best from within the people that they say they love and love them anytime you mistreat somebody betray somebody you gotta know what aspect of that is a weapon against the god you serve 
you got to know that that's this that's somebody he created to not be in pain over your actions a lot of times we so selfish and so uh, uh you know lacking cognizance of, of what it is that we are doing lacking that self-awareness that makes it so that we go toward urges and sometimes those urges end up hurting others cheating on people and taking from people and using your desperation as a means of of doing whatever however and then you find yourself angering the God that, that made you, that made them. Sometimes people do stuff we don't like, and now we want to hurt them. You know, they we do people do things to us a certain way. We want to take our pound of flesh out of somebody else because we feel like the universe has hurt us. You don't realize that who you hurt can just the same create that demon in somebody else. And that is not what the Lord is asking for you to do if you're a believer. You got to fight those inner demons just like you got to fight them outer ones. You know, I was telling my friend Kay, even though it's my fault that I put her on such a pedestal that I would otherwise desire to speak with her every day. And that's not her responsibility to coddle my feelings or talk to me every day or go out of her way to make herself uncomfortable to make me feel better. At the end of the day, we all need to do our best to try to work with the people that we love in the best way we can. And a lot of times when we do whatever comes naturally to us that ultimately leaves them hurt, it makes it so that we look different in their in their eyes. It makes it so that the Lord may get angry at us for doing that to them. And just the same, angry at us for doing it to ourselves by way of the reputation that we create that ultimately makes it so that people look at us the wrong way. You're hurting yourself. That's an inner demon that's looking to self-destruct. Your reputation. Make it so that people ain't going to be reaching out to you when your birthday come around. Make it so that people don't have nothing good to say about you at your funeral. Make it so that people don't have a whole lot of good to hand the people that you leave behind because they think you just like them. One of the reasons why I benefit so much right now is because my mother had so many good re relationships with her family and friends. So now they're willing to help her son off the strength of their, la their loyalty to her. If she wouldn't have been as kind to a lot of them people, I would have been screwed up. If she wouldn't have had that continuous communication of being real and being genuine, I wouldn't have been able to receive some of the love that I have today. I'm certain of it. So we got to understand that that's what we do as well. We can both create that in a positive light, like I'm able to benefit from, or a negative light. And that's why a lot of times people don't have nobody. It's because their parents was awful human beings. Their grandparents was awful human beings. Their uncles and aunties was awful human beings. And now when they reach out, it's just assume you were part of what it is that they was. Maybe you are if you're engaging in that energy. We got to know how to love ourselves enough to first create a good reputation for our names. And then from there to know from within that truth that we do pass off what it is that our reputation is to the people that we care about the most. We do pass that reputation off to our future when we don't feel as numb as we may feel in the moment or don't care like we do in the moment. You're going to care later. And when you do, that's when you're going to end up paying for it. Your poor reputation. That's when people are going to be looking at you a certain way that you don't no longer want to have being looked at. You know, I was talking about when I was at Universal Studios. How a lot of times I was getting looked at a certain way by the security guards. And I said it comes with the skin. But the skin, although there's a lot of racism in this world, it's also a lot of aggression from people that look like me. A lot of bad reputations attached to the behaviors of people who look like me, for better or for worse, in regards to why they are this way. Desperation may cause that way. Systematic racism may cause that. Our own evils and our own engagement in, in nonsense and demonic energy may cause that. But at the end of the day, for people who don't deserve to be seen that way, they get looked at a certain way because of that reputation. However that reputation comes about, it ends up being something false that gets placed upon those who walk around with the same skin, same look, same walk. It ain't fair for them. This is an extension of that. And I say the same thing about racism and other, and other races as well. When you have people who run around acting like they don't give a damn about nobody but themselves. But people who don't feel that way often get looked at as if they're like that. We talk about cops and things that they're like that where they go around 
you know, brut brutalizing certain people and stuff like that. Now they go into these communities and everybody who's wearing a badge gets looked at as if they're brutalizing. Hell, even get treated as if they're about to. It's just something that allows your group to be generalized. And maybe the people who are doing that want that. Maybe they don't love themselves and their groups enough to be seen in a positive light. Maybe they're not cognizant of what would paint a positive light for them. But just the same, that misunderstanding or that behavior is going to often reflect poorly upon those who don't deserve it at all. And I think about that when I try to apply and understand how to manage my own mind, my own reputation, manage my own anticipation of, of fears and sadness and I realize that I got to undo that and one of the things I haven't done enough of is holding my friend Kay accountable for the things that she does that I may not appreciate I put an end to that this morning that's a level of growth it's like you can't be so afraid that you go leave a bad taste in somebody's mouth that while they leaving a bad taste in your mouth you don't stick up for yourself you don't tell them what your standards are for how you feel like you want to be treated. I was doing that. Letting all that harbor in my spirit. Letting it eat away in me while she thought she was doing something that probably didn't bother me at all. That's not how you leave yourself a good reputation. You got to be real. You got to tell people and hold them accountable. What well, part of loving people is holding them accountable. Making them better. Saying harsh truths that may not feel good to them, but ultimately will make them better in the end. I was not loving her properly in that way. I felt like because I had been inconsiderate in certain ways, I know wisdom that against that, that I can ultimately help her today. Maybe she don't see where she's creating a reputation for herself that ain't great in that way. Maybe she, she doesn't see what comes with that if she does. And I do. And I was not loving her enough to share that with her. <clears throat> but I did. And I know now I'm sharing it with you. Paint a good picture of yourself in the eyes of the people that you care about. Paint a good picture of yourself in the eyes of the people you don't. Because at the end of the day, everybody's watching. God is watching. He's rooting for everybody you mistreat. He's rooting for you in regards to you mistreating yourself by way of the reputation you create for yourself that's no good. And by way of the reputation that you treat, create for others that look like you just by being the way that you shouldn't. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to the people that you care about you owe it to the people that look like you you owe it to the god you serve if you're a believer to not weaponize yourself against others by way of your bad reputation or lack of care numb nature whatever you call that there's a there's a word for it it's not coming to mind but when you're indifferent yeah you best believe that welcomes a certain level of hatred and indifference that has a reflection that it will pain you. It ain't as simple as I don't give a damn and walk away. No, you, you don't give a damn and we looking at you not give a damn. So when it's time to treat you a certain way, you get treated like people who don't give a damn. You get talked about like people who don't give a damn. I've seen people go through that. They think they're just walking around like with their chest out. They look like clowns to a lot of people and they get treated very poorly because of it later on. See, that's the part we don't see. When you walk around, put you know, showing your backside, now you get treated like a clown. And a lot of times we only want to do that for a moment, then we want to be taken seriously. No, you still going to get treated like a clown. It's the same thing that I said about the, the misrepresentation of black women and how that correlates to how ultimately we don't get the representation and in value that we ultimately deserve. You're going to walk, walk around and act like a gangster all day long? Believe me, gangsters don't get the respect they deserve. Only when they reach a certain height with their money. And that's that's kind of scary, to be honest with you. Because you still look like just a gangster with a lot of money. And while some people can overcome that, at the end of the day, it's not meant to be overcome. That energy is supposed to be met with a certain level of apprehension and disadvantage. When you try to go to the United Nations and put yourself out there to be somebody that's respectable, you're not going to be respected in that room. When you go to try to sit in a room full of billionaires, they're still going to see you as somebody that's probably not really part of what they're doing. Not to say that you want to fit in with them per se, but that's not the point. You want to be able to go anywhere you want to go. 
And there are going to be certain things that your reputation are just going to keep you at a disadvantage in regards to how you represent yourself. It's why we talk about humility so much and being humble. How you represent yourself will determine how well you get treated in the long run. And maybe you're not wise enough to care about that now, but later on you will. And still, you'll be treated as if you don't. And so will those who look like you, etc. So when we walk around saying, oh, we don't care. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I'm going to show myself to be this and that. I want to act out and be loud and all this and that. You get treated like people who do that. And they don't get treated very well. That's the wisdom to all of this. When you show yourself to be loud and proud, but you don't have a whole lot of wisdom about yourself, you loud and wrong and all of that, you get treated like it. People lowball you in deals. People start scheming against you in various different ways. People start acting as if they could betray you because it ain't going to hurt them to do so because you ain't no good any damn way. These are things that we welcome by acting a certain way and allowing our reputation to go left. It ain't as simple as you just walking around with strength and that's it. No, no. Now you got to take on the, the treatment that comes with this. And that's why I always speak about humility and being humble and trying to improve your reputation. Not because I think I have the greatest one, but it's because I know exactly what comes with not having one. That's very good. I know what comes with having one that is very good because I benefit from it in regards to my mom. These are things that I understand both sides of now. And you got to condition yourself one day at a time to get to a point where you are that. You ain't going to get that overnight just because you heard me speak about it. You got to really work that into your everyday equation. Condition your mind to start be being less fearful of what comes with not being a certain way. That ain't no good for your reputation. A lot of times it's fear that drives us to do these things. Thinking that we are putting up a certain defense. You're not putting up a defense. You're opening up yourself for more of what it is that ultimately comes at you in a negative light. Treat people better. Treat yourself better by way of doing so and see how it correlates. God's rooting for everybody. And he don't want you to treat people poorly. He ain't going to bless you for going around doing wrong and everybody. Going around acting like you don't give a damn in the moment just because you hurt. That hurt is supposed to make you self-destruct. Don't you see that? That depression that keeps you in isolation and makes you not care about other people's feelings, that's supposed to make you be treated poorly. Can't you see that? That's what it's for. To see to it that you are ultimately ignored when you want attention. To see to it that you're ultimately brushed aside when you want to be taken seriously. To see to it that people talk over you when you have really something special to say at some point. It's your reputation that's going to give you that respect. It's your honor that's going to give you that respect. It's your loyalty that's going to give you that respect. Not the opposite. You going around snitching to save yourself. You get treated like a snitch. You get treated like somebody that doesn't have any care for what it is that they're doing. And will throw somebody under the bus. It, that has a reaction that comes at you. And that is exactly what those demons in you want. For you to be attacked. For you to have fear coming at you in different ways. For you to have people looking at you all crazy for you to get cheated out of everything you're supposed to have for you to not be someone who can protect others by way of the reputation that you leave with others that ultimately reflects positively upon them your nephews your nieces your kids that inner demon inside of you ex wants that destroyed because ultimately what we're dealing with is spiritual warfare if you ask me and what it really comes down to is enemies trying to take everything from the lord so this is one of those very, very complex tactics from which the enemy's been using against humans for as long as we've been here. Allowing us to put forth the worst at reputation and then be destroyed by that reputation. It is what it is. So can we fathom that as we move forward? Look around and see the examples of that. And try to put ourselves in a position to be seen in a positive light, in a better light. See to it that we're able to leave a good reputation, a good last name. And don't allow yourself to be confused about what it is that you're doing when you try to protect yourself from certain pain. You ain't protecting yourself at all. You're just creating a worse reputation in that regard. My name is BDL44. I thank you all for watching. And I'm out.